Thank you very much. Uh, just to put your minds at rest, I I'm not actually Donald Trump's love child. <laughs> Your best friend is your dog. <laughs> uh, any gentleman in this room that thinks you want to be your best friend, I'm going to correct you. Your best friend is your dog. And Bill, I'm going to prove it to you. When you leave this venue tonight, go home to your house. Own the boot of your car, put your wife and the dog in the boot of the car. <laughs> and at exact 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, open the boot and tell me which one's most pleased to see you. <laughs> Unconditional love is that. <laughs> I mean, that's sincerely. I'm not, uh, you've been absolutely fantastic at the show. It's been great. Have you enjoyed the show? Yes. Yeah, wonderful company. Uh, you a fantastic job, Ian. Superb. <laughs> Spent all afternoon doing it there and come out without it. <laughs> Any last few women? Yay! It's very places where you don't go to the big long train station. You know what I mean? They can't fire for the queen, go get a queen in France and you go, go, go. <laughs> I only know that because I was there in November and I spent all afternoon trying to say that thing. And in the end, I gave up and went to the restaurant. Said to the fellow behind the counter, would you do the favour when you tell me where I am? And for God's sake, will you say it slow? And he went, Mark Donald's. <laughs> A respect of colour and religion, there'll be none of this violence, none of this terrorism, none of these wars, none of this stupidity. It'd be a wonderful place to live and remember through life that bad breath is better than none at all. <laughs> It's also a pleasure to go home because my little girl will be waiting for me. Well, to be honest, she'll be in the middle of a game of hide and seek. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> but she just got to that age where she started waking up when I go in and she always asks the same question. She says, Daddy, there was lots of people there. And I say, yes, sweetheart, there was lots of people. And then she says, Daddy, did all of the ladies and gentlemen laugh at your jokes? And I say, yes, sweetheart, all the ladies and gentlemen laughed at the jokes. And then she says, Daddy, at the end of your act, when you had finished, did all the ladies and gentlemen stand on their feet? Did they clap their hands? Did they whistle? <laughs> Did they shout for more? <laughs> Did they give you a standing ovation? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, not for me. <laughs> but for my little girl. Thanks for listening. Good night and God bless you. Thank you. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, keep the post going, please. One more time, go back, go away.